YouTube. Tonight we are going to play an oldie but a goodie. Like playing some Jund. Um, this is Michael Kidd's list. I think that's how you, Michael, Michael Kidd, I don't know, it's Michael Kidd on Twitter. Um, I'll post his below. Um, it's got it's a pretty stock list. Um, you know, some removal spells, some Tarmogoyce, some Bobs, Liliana's. Cyborg got your Fulminator Mages, your Graveyard Hate, you know, a little bit of everything. Huntmaster of the Fells is one of my favorite cards in the deck. So, he's only got 24 lands. I tend to like, I tend to always like 25 when I play this deck because you just want to hit, you want to curve out here. But 24 is what he play. And we're not going to reinvent the wheel tonight. Tonight we're just going to play, spin the wheel and have some fun. All right. Um, competitive Modern League. Tonight is not a donation deck list, but if you would like to see it for the rest of the month, like another week, I am doing um, some donation deck lists up there for the Barreros. So if you donate ten dollars to myself or the Barreros and send me like a a link that says that you donated, then I will run your deck through a leak. So here we go for the first match. I want to see discard spell Tarmogoyf every time. That is what I want to see. Looks like Moto's tweaking out. Good old Moto. We just barely started the stream. We're already having some malfunctions with Moto. what went on right there but this hand's pretty solid we're gonna keep we don't have a discard spell or anything but hopefully that doesn't come back to bite us man I should close out of all of these they're all just starting to come out tweak out now oh playing playing in modern we can f8 which is great all right, we got something to point our bolt our bolt at here. So, uh, we want to get he isn't play a mountain in his deck. I don't think I'd want to fetch the mountain either. I'm just gonna go get a stomping ground and bolt the bird. Always bolt the bird. We're gonna play a bob on two. Oh, okay, so I'm gonna fetch a swamp here because I would like <clears throat> um, more lands in case I get Blood Moon next turn. I would assume Bob is pretty solid against Red or against Panza. <clears throat> Opponents got access to four mana, so they can Blood Red Elf me. Looks like it's gonna happen. Oh, a Chandra, gross. Okay. So I have two options. I can go Liliana, tick up, probably discarding Dark Confidant, and then just play a bunch of Bloodbraid Elves. Or I can play Dark Confidant. And I think I'm gonna have enough cards from these Lilianas to, or from these Bloodbraid Elves to where I just want to play Liliana and go up with it. Put the pressure on my opponent's hand. I 
My opponent is almost hellbent. We have their next creature covered. We should be able to get a little bit of advantage from this elf to deal with this Chandra. I think we're in a pretty solid spot. I'm going to put these on so that my eyes don't get a little beat up. Now let me know if you guys can hear some background noise. I've got my window open just because it's hot. Or it's a nice day out. I don't want to be stuffy in here. So if that's annoying, let me know. is just tanking here. Probably have two good spells and they're trying to figure out, oh, maybe they're trying to just empty their hand. Blood Rail for their own, maybe? No, Karn the Great Creator, okay. What are we gonna get? Liquid Metal Coating, okay. All right, so they're gonna liquid metal coating probably maybe one of my lands. Yep. All right. Well, I will plus. I'll probably just discard my swamp. So I might not do it. Well, being able to ultimate this might be nice here. Activate abilities of artifacts. One, two, so they can actually just get the lattice and play it next turn. Oh, wow. So I'm just like dead. One, two, three, four, five, six, because they just go get the lattice and they play it. Well, I guess we'll just discard, discard a swamp, play, pass the turn. At least I think that's what they're gonna do here. Then I'm just like locked out of the game. Boy, still ring me. All right, maybe I, I put. Maybe I should have just discarded a Bloodbraid Elf. Yeah. Huh. This all went very poorly. There's probably mistakes I made here. Alright. I'm pretty sure I'm dead, because they're just gonna go eventually they're just gonna get the, the lattice. If they have it. You know, I would assume that they do. They might have just been playing around like abrupt decay there. I guess we can still just like bolt the Karn. So now they just go get the lattice because they know that we can't bolt it. And then we're just dead. For a game that I thought that I was very far ahead in, this did turn poorly very quickly. Oh, Moto's tweaking out again. What the hell? Maybe I should restart Moto. This is the second time it's kicked me off to start here. Old Magic Online. Yeah, they're going to get the lattice, so we're dead. All right, concede the game, wrap it up. Oh, uh, we're still good. Tweaking out for a second. Yeah, that was surprising. Like I thought that I was, I thought I was very far ahead there. Then it just didn't work out for me. All right, so I probably want this grudge. 
just to be able to kill the lattice or like any artifact hate or any artifact thing. I probably can cut one removal spell on the play because I can also hit a bird with a discard spell if I need to. There's not really much else that I like. Like Collective Brutality doesn't really do very much. Foam and Intermage, they're going to put it on a basic. Yeah, I think I'm just going to do a switch here. I want some removal in case they have like, because they have tireless trackers and like Birds of Paradise, but I think I can bring in an Ancient Grudge. Might switch some stuff up, play draw, but. <clears throat> yeah, I was very surprised I lost that game. I thought I was in a really good spot. Even with the Chandra coming down on turn four to, um, even the Chandra coming down on turn three, I guess, to smoke my Bob, I was like, okay, I'm just going to go like Liliana into Elf Elf. But I guess maybe I was supposed to play Bob there just to get on the board. I don't know. I thought I had enough card advantage from the Liliana that I was surprised that everything got so bad so quick. All right, this hand needs a land, but I think it's pretty solid besides that. We have, like, Inquisition. We can take something that's not a bird. Bolt a bird. Like, we need, we need a third land, but I think the hand's pretty solid besides that. We are a little susceptible to Blood Moon, I guess. So maybe this hand wasn't as good as I thought it was. How's it going, Zach? I didn't see your chat there. Must have gone with when we were struggling. Yeah, on second thought, this hand's not as good as I thought it was. But we can get a third land. All right, well, I guess we're just going to take a stone rain. Bolt this Arbor Elf. All right, well. Oh, shoot. Go here, play on the Black Leaf Cliffs. It's kind of nice the Ancient Grudge is a free discard. All right, no play is great. So now we have our Liliana going on, which is good. So I'm just going to discard the Ancient Grudge because it's got flashback. Hence the tweet. Was that the deck you were talking about today? Okay, they discard a Stone Rain, which means we're only going to get Stone Rain once. All right, we're not going to get Stone Rain at all, probably. All right, I'm going to ditch Scavenging Ooze. And then I'm going to like discard. If they keep a Stone Rain, then I'm going to hit it with this. Okay, so they didn't. So let's see if we get like a a blood moon or something. Wow, Moto keeps like freezing up on me here. Like it's just it's just floating. Our Inquisition's just floating right here. Why 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 do they think this deck is is good? Man, what is going on today? I cannot get a stream to stay on so far. Like I cannot get one to go here. Why is this doing this? All right, it'll sort itself out. I might have to restart it. That looks good. Because Karn into Sarkin. Hmm. Alright, which one of these do I not want to deal with? I don't want to get Stone Rained. I can fight through this Kitchen Fangs with these Lilianas. I really just need to hit a land next turn. Land and then I'm good. Karn into Sarkin. What does the Sarkin do for you? 
What is this? Is this uh, another land here? We get coming? No, it's okay. So they did hit a land. Okay. All right. So we have they have two blood right elves. So we really want to land here. All right. Nice. So we're gonna cast blood right elf, and then we're gonna just go up. And I can't. I have to get a green source, so it's still kind of in a trouble. A little bit of trouble to blood moon. They play like 12 walkers. Okay, I guess I just don't know what is going on with this deck. Um, I, I'm not even going to cast this because it gives them the land. Yeah, I'm not even going to cast this. So cancel. No. Then get a Liliana out of them. The yeah, casting that there would have been horrible unless we... Wanted to do it on a basic land, which it might have been worth it to hit a basic, but. Alright, so they hit. Alright, so let's just deal with this. All of a sudden, we're in trouble. All right. To make them edict, they'll probably get rid of this kitchen finks. And hopefully they attack this Liliana because if they do that, then it saves us a little bit of life. What if I was supposed to cast that, uh, if I was supposed to cast that, um, I wonder if I was supposed to cast the Assassin's Trophy. Yeah, sure. Just to uh, get the, um, just to get a land out of their deck. All right, Bob. Yeah, sometimes it is. Jesus. Oh, we're just gonna use all of our mana here. It's always in trouble. Out of nowhere, yeah. Well, you don't beat the top of the deck, right? Do I even want this? I guess we have another bot. We have another, and we can just trade it off. I guess I should have attacked with this one too. I definitely should have attacked with this one. Yeah, it's not super like you know, it's not super great at the moment, but I like playing it. I'm gonna trade a Bob off. If they attack. Assassin's Trophy, Liliana. All right, let's edict my opponent. Push this. I'm gonna only attack with two. Okay. So I think my opponent's on the Hope my bobs kill me plan. Which, I'm out of Blood Red Elves. I have a bunch of Lilianas. I'd like a Tarmogoyf. Alright, so we hit a Lightning Bolt and then another one. How's it going? Alright, I think I'm just going to play this Ravine. And I can either bolt one of my bobs, because like, and then I can Liliana Edict it if I need to. So we're gonna draw at least one more card. Either on Blue White or Tron, for Those are two good decks. Two good decks. All right, there's a Karn. We have the Ancient Grudge in our sideboard here, so we're okay. We can probably just let this go. How's it going, uh, Wagner? Walking Ballista, okay. All right. 
So I actually have to kill both of these. So I think I'm going to just trophy this ballista. And then look to probably maybe bolt this Karn. Put you this on me. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go here with this. Because I'm not... Because I could just bolt... I think I'm probably just going to bolt my Bob. And then fire up my Raging Ravine to kill this thing here. So let's just bolt this. Scavenging ease would be solid right about now. Or hitting a land, okay. There's a scavenging ease. Alright, so I don't need this thought seed, so I can actually just tick this up. Get rid of this. Play this. Attack the Karn for one or for two. And I'm just gonna play ooze. And I guess there's no sense in eating something right now because they don't play anything. They don't play like Lightning Bolt. Or they don't play a two damage card. Force are okay. Okay, they have a Foothills on top. Okay, so they have a Blood Bright Elf coming. How's it going, Teddy? So let's eat. We don't have any blood bread else left in our deck, I don't think. So I don't think we can die on our upkeep. So what do we have left? We've got one, two. I guess we have two left. So I should eat one thing in response to this blob trigger. Oh, I have the yield on there. That's scary. Forgot about that one. So they... So they have an elf on top. I'm gonna hold the scavenging ooze back to block. And I'm also just gonna play a Liliana and go up with it and then just ditch my land. Oh, just a sweatshirt there. Yeah, shadows would be good at the moment. <clears throat> we definitely have to like tiptoe the line a little bit here. All right, into burn, nice. All right, so let's eat this. No, we're not gonna eat the Corsair because that grows Tarmogoyf. Let's eat. Kitchen Finks. I'm also just gonna fetch a green source, I think. Just eat, gain all the life here. Make this thing massive. Why? I feel like I'm betrayed my clan for not being shot in Louisville. Yeah, it's pretty medium at the moment. All right, ooh, we drew a basic. Drew another basic. So let's just chew through these creatures. And I think I'm just going to fire this ravine up and leave the scavenging ooze back. Am I going to do that? No, I'm going to attack with everything. I can gain three life. We get to watch you get the shower and drink the beer. It's not it's not that kind of stream. Shower beers are fantastic. I actually couldn't believe that though. Like, so I, I, I quit. My wife and I stopped drinking. We used to come home and she had like a glass or two of wine. I have a beer or two before I went to bed. And we just like stopped that a little bit to um to just shave so like to shave save some dollars and to like help my waistline a little bit. And the biggest improvement is just, like, I sleep so much better now, which is just wild. <clears throat> but I didn't, I didn't think sleep would help. Like, I, don't, I haven't, like, lost – I've lost negligible weight. Like, I, I exercise, but, but, like, the sleep has been the biggest thing. 
Um, on the draw, do I want one more removal spell? Probably. Like, these Colgon's commands aren't... Well, they're shatters. Moving out of the Veil is worse than the draw. So I'm going to bring one of these in, and then I'm going to have one removal spell. And then we'll call it good. I want a couple of them. Like, sometimes you can get them down to no resources. But I also really don't want to take a... Like, I don't want to have to... Well, I guess that's not going to happen anyways. Because I can't Inquisition before they play their neuter. So yeah, I'm going to go like this. Going good, Jay. I don't know what I want to play. So. You can donate. Donations are good. Like, that's what I've got going on here. The Barrero brothers are two Canadian wrestlers that are on the Canadian national team. And they don't get the... I, they were where I... I learned to play Magic, the same shop they were at. And I don't... Canada doesn't support them as much. So they're still trying to raise money in order to go cover training and then go to events. Strong, blue, white, green, vicious, blue, green, green. It's a good run. It's a good run. It's gonna be a little, it's gonna be hard to win this game on the draw, I think. Just because we can't, like, we have to have a discard spell on turn two or we can get Blood Moon. I think it's pretty good. Uh, I'm going to be an adult. Okay, so this hand plays. This hand's really good. Unstable art and MTGO is a sin. What does that mean? The unstable art. I'm gonna put this on the bottom. So we're gonna fetch basic swamp and hit him with a discard spell. Wow, we're gonna be able to. We're gonna be able to tell Blood Moon what's up this game. All right, so we mulliganed. The sad thing is that Chandra is actually just gonna be larger than my Tarmogoyf. Wolf. So I'm actually kind of in trouble because they can cast this. All right, well, that's good, I guess. Push this, Tarma Wife becomes one, two, three, four, four, five, and it can attack Chandra, which is good. Play this. It's gonna fetch a basic. Wish that was in different order. What did Flay Hellers? Nothing. Nice. I should have fetched here. I mean, I'm gonna fetch a forest, so it doesn't really matter. All right, another Goyf is good. I'm gonna play, even though this Black Leaf Cliffs is gonna come into play tapped, it's also my fifth land. So I'm not that worried about it. I think I'm just gonna play this Verdant Catacombs to go get like another, to go get a Swamp if I get Blood Moon. I mean, they're, go they're gonna definitely play Chandra, but I don't know. Yeah, there's one Alpine Moon in here. This is what Michael set up. All right, Chandra into Arbor Elf deal all right I'm gonna get another forest here though I could just get how many black sources do I have it doesn't matter yeah I'm just gonna get the forest all right I'm gonna swing in here play another one then play a black leaf cliffs Now we are the beat down. It's um it's uh it's Ponza. It's 
So, what are we looking to draw? We want to draw Blood Rails. Because, like, what they're likely going to do is play Chandra, tick it up, do something with it. Probably double chump next turn, and then go, like, Chandra tick down, new Chandra tick down to kill a Tarmor Wave. They lose their other Chandra, but they're not really doing anything else besides that, so kind of seems like what they have to do. Oh, well, I guess. Oh, they have something else to play here. Do you have a Blood Raid Elf? They have a Blood Raid Elf here. That's pretty gross. Kitchen Finks is also gross. All of a sudden, we're in trouble. God, that's wild. We go from, like, feeling good to just, like, what happened? We drew our nice, our nice ancient grudge. Three. So I just, like, have to attack this, I think. Because then if I don't attack, they can just go down, down. And then these are just gone here. Yeah, I got a little... <clears throat> that's a story of my life. I put sunscreen on to go play basketball today. And I still just got burnt to a crisp. We have to attack there because they can just go, like, we have to make some inroad on their board. We have drawn a few lands. But, at least now, we are, oh god. I need a good draw, like, like right now. Oh, into a fetch land. And they can crack both of the clues. Oh, we're so dead. This game is so over. I mean, I guess I could have, like... Maybe I can grudge a clue here. My opponent might slack off, so I guess I'll just turn off my auto yields. It's not pretty, but it's what we got, right? They go to... Yeah, now I'm just going to kill this. We got to do something. Oh, you get something else to do with the mana? Blood Moon? Okay. Alright, well, there's another Goyf. I'm just going to attack this Chandra. They have to trade it. Like, I'll... I'll take a tireless tracker trade. They're like, no way. I'm keeping that, keeping that girl around. All right. I mean, it's good that we drew a bunch of goifs. Like, at least we can get on the board here and attack. But things are not looking. I can actually just have six. Things are. Oh wow, the Pia and Kia, Pia and Kieran Nalar. We're getting beat up. I don't even know what I can draw to get out of this. You just have to be like Blood Bright Elf into like something sweet. There's some way to kill this. Then keep chugging in there with my Tarmor Waves. Blood Bright Elf. Alright, well. So, I might as well go like this, I guess. We can grudge a Thopter. Okay. So, what am I doing with this? I can kill P and K. And then I can, like, shoot this Chandra. For two. Because, like, I don't want it to deal four to a Tarmor Wife and then be able to deal four to a Tarmor Wife again. So I think what I'm going to do... Because Shatter Shock doesn't really do anything. Because they just sack the clue or sack this and throw three damage. I think I'm going to shoot this. 
I guess I get it out of the way, which makes, does that make my attacks better? It does make my attacks better. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Then I'm going to swing everything at Chandra. I can't make them discard the other Chandra because they'll just crack a clue. Um, destroy target artifact. Deals two damage to any target. Okay, so they're gonna chuck these. All right, so I'm still gonna send everything at Chandra. Well, I guess my opponent can go untap, grow this, eat this. But then their board's gone, they eat this, and I have two Tarmogoyfs against still an active Chandra. I guess I'm gonna hold back my Blood Red Elf. I guess I could. I could attack with everything at this and then grudge this. Or I could attack with both of these and then we get through this. I have to get this Chandra on the board. I don't want it to go minus minus and kill two Tarmogoyce. So I'm gonna go on my turn, I'm gonna put a stop. Attack Chandra. Get rid of that. So my opponent can just eat the Blood Red Elf if they want. They can trade Tireless Tracker for Tarmowaif, which I'll take in a heartbeat. I really just don't want them to go like minus minus. Like that would be the worst case scenario. Okay. Then they should just let this go. Yep. Their goys are still big. We're not really out of this. So we can pressure this Chandra pretty well. They have a stone rain that's really bad because they just kill my swamp and then I can't cast black cards. I do at work, I don't hear. I wish I did. Standing discs are sweet. I guess we got our opponent kind of in a pickle. What would be a good draw? Scavenge use. Trophy to kill this tracker. At least we get another free attack with our Tarmogoyf in the tracker. Like, I'll definitely deal with trading the tracker for the Goyf. Oh, that's so annoying. Kitchen Finks is so annoying. All right, so we're racing. Is that what's going on here? Well, that's not what we were looking for. What do I gain from just attacking? I probably have to just attack with Volt and hold my land. I'm not sure. Probably when Modern Horizons comes out. I'm not winning the game sitting back here, so I gotta try to make something happen. And yes, they could just kill me. Like this is three, six, ten. I guess that's actually eleven, right? I miscounted here. I forgot about the Chandra tick up. Yeah, I'm just I'm dead on the board. Wasn't thinking. 
All right, well, we'll see if they do it. I messed up right here. I should have just waited. I mean, like, I'm not winning the game waiting anyways, but... So I was, like, trying to maybe make something happen. But my opponent saw through it. So this is 7. So that's 10. Yeah, that does it too. Jeez. I was surprised we lost that one. I mean, I got my I got my mana under me, and I still lost that one, which is like I figured that if I if I didn't get blood mooned, I was good, you know. Yeah, I didn't really I didn't get blood mooned in either of those games, but what are you gonna do? Kind of a beating. I think my opponent drew pretty well in the last game, too. I mean, we drew, like... Like, the first game, they had the Chandra on three to kill our Bob, which was big, and then they, like... What'd they go into? I don't know. It's a beating. They could just not do it. All right, um, this hand's pretty solid. Keep this. Let's discard spell into Tarnavoif. Probably gonna fetch a swamp of this. Oh, gemstone mine. I'm playing against Amulet Titan. Well, we're taking that Amulet over here. All right, um, am I still getting a swamp? Is it better to have my mana colors all made up? Maybe I should've just shocked. Nah, I'm gonna really swamp. Just keep my life total. Okay. All right, well, we're going to be able to get into that Karn. And there's painstakingly slow without the amulet, where this hand is at least. That's a nice draw. That gives me insurance in case the ladder comes down. But we can double... We can double... Uh, Oh, that sucks. You'll keep this turn. So here comes the growth chamber. Picks up that. Yep. So I think dealing with this Azusa is kind of a lost cause. But then again, Kolagon's commanding. Like what I can do is just get enough power on the board to hopefully just beat my opponent up. How's it going, uh, Ace Nate? But they're gonna just get the stupid. I actually don't think I can. I don't think I can play another Goyf because I might have to go and kill the whatever artifact the Karn uh, the Great Creator gets. Giant. Here comes Karn. Lots of spoiler cards in Modern. They're alright. I mean, I don't think there's been a lot of that groundbreaking of cards. All right, so we might be able to finagle this card with the Kologon's Command as well. Engineering Explosives. Okay. That's actually all right. So now we're going to get everything because we just go bang, bang, and then play Blood Red Elf, and we're good. The lands are good. The land, like the lands are like the red white ones, really good. Target player discards a card. Deal two damage here. It's 
It's gonna kind of suck if we hit a two drop with this um, with this blood red elf, but you know, such is life. I don't think the new ranger is that good. Like, are you gonna pay three mana for the top for the bottom half of it? All right, what does this do? I guess I can just hit a growth chamber and put them back on mana. I can actually hit the Slayer's Stronghold. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. It gives the Titan haste. Yeah, so let's just hit the Stronghold. Yeah, but you can do that with your other cards, right? I don't think Factor Fiction is going to be that good. Like, the problem is, like, are you, instead of your Factor Fiction, are you going to play, like, Jace? What are you gonna what are you gonna cut for it? You know what I mean? Like isn't Jace or Teferi your your top end cards just better anyways? You've got like Freebooter and uh, Mage, right? Like you you play that game you already play that game, don't you? So I could go double I could just go elf, but I kinda want to play elf after I play to the board. So I'm just gonna attack Play two creatures. Yeah, but like, I don't know. It seems like a redundant effect. Like, playing three mana for that effect doesn't seem worth it. All right, let's eat there. Azusa. And put this on the stack. It's a nice, it's a little bit of insurance, which is good. All right, cast. This resolves. I'm gonna eat this, make them sack. Okay. We got in for three six. That's actually lethal because we'd have grown the ooze to ten. We'd have got in there. Yeah, I don't think you can play because, like, at the point you're casting that, the whole go get a one drop out of humans isn't really worth it. And I think that like having that like having that effect when you're only gonna play like, I don't know, just play like if you're worried about control decks, just play more Gaddic Teagues or play more, um, play like Buglers. I think I think those are better than than that one. So Ancient Grudge is good. Uh, Alpine Moon. So Enchant, choose my non-basic. Lands, opponent controls. Lose all land types and abilities they gain. So if I hit this and I name Teleria West, they can't transmute, right? Is that what I'm saying here? Lands your opponent's control with the chosen name Lose all land types and abilities. It doesn't work. Even though it says land types, it must be like abilities when it's being when it's a land. Want these. Scavenging use we don't need here. And what do I want on the draw? On the draw, well, I think my discard is bad. I mean, I'm going to cut a removal spell. But I want to be able to hit the scout. I want enough removal in my removal spells in my deck to do that. Like I don't want to have to like, like if my opponent goes scout and I don't have a way to kill it, then all of a sudden I'm in a lot of trouble. Doesn't seem like nothing. It's on. It's on the battlefield only. All right, I'm gonna bring in. The problem is I just hate, I hate like, cause these aren't that great, but whenever I play against Amulet Titan, I just hate not having enough removal spell. And it's just a free way for them to win if they have like the scout on one. I'm gonna board out, I'm gonna board this back in on the play. All right. So what do we name with this? 
we just name growth chamber. I'm not sure, probably when the new set comes out. Oh, this hint's so mopey. I mean, we have a full mirror mage and a trophy and this, so I guess it's pretty hateful. So I'll keep. All right, no amulet. There's an amulet. I could also play my tap land. Now I'm just gonna name Simic Growth Chamber. I need double black. So I can just get, I'm gonna have to get Blood Crypt eventually. So let me just go Simic Growth Chamber. Yeah, it's a pretty good hand. I'll probably stream some Shadow after the, um, when the new set comes out. EE -E for one. All right, well, I'm going to, I think I'm going to, is it worth trophying this? It's probably not when I can just play Goyf and then how many forests does Amulet play? They gotta play more than one, right? Amulet Titan. My gut says we just play Tarmogoyf. Yeah, four forests. If my opponent wants to kill this, then I can Fulminator Mage something. What do I want to do with this? I guess I'll just go fetch Overgrown Tomb. Because if I, if I just, if I Assassin's Trophy that, they gain mana, which I don't really want to do. And plus my Tomahawk is going to be big. Yeah, I, I assume they played more than one forest, but I wasn't sure. There's no way for them to really go off here. Okay. My opponent has many cement growth chambers. Could play Fallen Air Mage beforehand. I guess we should have trophied this. Alright, I'm gonna sack this before this gets them two mana. I'm gonna have to do it on their turn anyways. It, de it definitely could be tight in time for my opponent. Oh, yeah. Do you guys have Lord Bender is running it? Yeah, I wouldn't play it. I play counter spells. I'm about to get tightened. Drag Tusk? Okay. Drag Tusk is beatable. That just isn't really beatable, but yo, dude, Ben Jones, the wild card. So I'm definitely gonna lightning bolt and then fire up my raging ravine this turn. Whether I get to assassin's trophy, anything is different. I'm gonna bolt this before damage before it deals damage to me. Though, hang on, five. I go to nine. I crack them for nine.
that still seems pretty bad, right? Because I put them to nine. Well, actually, I can wait because then if I hit. No, because they're going. I have to bolt it. Well. If I just go to nine and then I fire up an attack, they're going to attack me to four. And then I'm like dead to a walking ballista. I'm just going to bolt this thing. Like if they don't do anything, I might just trophy it so that we can like two turn clock them. But I don't want to make some like random like walking ballista lethal by by playing two. Alright, well now I'm not going to worry about it. They have a bounce land and that's that's all we know about. Alright, well they can trade they can trade both of these for my ravine. Which they aren't interested in. Okay. I'm dead to anything here. Like a, a pat to Laria West. To be fair, that's why we love him. Yes. Reasons we love Ben Jones for 100. That still doesn't do anything. Like, messing with their mana base it just doesn't do anything. It's just worse than firing this up. Because they have two... Well, they have two amulets. And they have a... We know they have a bounce land in hand. Ooh, they had a ghost quarter too. No, oh, that's not good. Yes. Well, at least we get to trophy something. I'm still not gonna hit this. An E for two, yep, you got it. Um just get another one of these. Blood Red Elf would be a nice draw. Okay. So now I can actually just attack. They're going to blow this up. I kind of want to go. Now I just play this Fulminator Mage. And now I return my Tarmogoyf and I make them discard their bounce land so that they don't necessarily have enough mana to remake. Because then they don't have enough mana here to play. Like if they put this in here, they only have five. And then they don't have enough mana to, um, to play it if they get a Titan off the top. Because they got to pick up one of these two cards here. So we discard the forest. We get back Goyf. So now Titan's no longer a live draw. And I'm just going to sit here 
block and then I'm gonna blow up this Simic Growth Chamber. So shamed. And hopefully they didn't rip a bounce land. But I don't really want to go that low. Yeah, now we've sufficiently cut off like 15 mana from our opponent. And we have a Tarmalloid. And we have a Bloodbird Elf. Now my opponent can't draw enough mana to play Primeval Titan. Um, I guess I'm just going to go like this. They can't get. They can't find enough mana to play Primeval Titan and Primeval Titan in the same turn. So yeah, getting the bounce land out of my opponent's hand was super relevant. I'm gonna just look what this card is. Puts me to four, but like, okay. I don't know if I should have done that actually. Because I mean, even though that could be a payoff, like if that was a primeval Titan, it would really suck. Okay, this is good. This leaves them with this block leaves them with no outs though, I don't think. Look, they're just dead. Thanks for the subscription, Johnny. Yep, there we go. Our opponent had a weird draw. But I mean, we successfully choked their mana, which is what we got to do to win. One and one. Hopefully we get going here. I appreciate y'all for showing up and hanging out tonight. My name's Dylan Hovey. I'm a part of the Car Herder Network. As you can see up here for the month of uh, May, I'm doing a donation um, goal for the Barrero Brothers Wrestling, which you can find right here. They are... Um, they're two Canadian wrestlers from upstate New York that I learned to play magic with them. And they're looking to raise some funds in order to make so they can, you know, get on the national team. Uh, this is what we want. So if you donate $10 to them or $10 to myself, then I will play a league in, um, I will play a league. Oh, Steam Guns. Oh, we're playing Arc Phoenix. Okay. Oh, no, we're playing Zolst Rage. Um, then I will play a league of whatever deck you would like. I could take a million damage here. All right, we get a sleight of hand. I think I'm going to play Bob next turn. I would like to find a way to kill this that is not Assassin's Trophy. I don't really think my life total is going to be under that much duress. You know, knock on wood. Sounds like they, it looks like they drew a thing in the ice. Oh no, we're just, we're a full on rug deck here. Okay, well I'm going to kill that right now. Before they get any more value off of that thing. And I'm just going to fetch a basic. They, I mean, they're, I guess they're not a Blood Moon deck. The next time we go Tarmogoy tap land, which Tarmogoy normally would ins insulate the battlefield here, but because of Soul Scar Mage's text, it, it's not as great because Soul Scar Mage can shrink Tarmogoy. Delver, okay. Now 
Nope, they're not. The queue's actually emptied. I haven't gotten one. I went up for uh, a wedding, and um, the queue actually emptied up. I could trophy this. Maybe I'm supposed to because, like, it can shrink Goyf. Checking with Delver. Atarka's Command. All right, Atarka's Command doesn't do anything to Tarm Goyf. Yeah, I was on a roll, got all this 200 bucks in the first like 10 days of the month. And then I went up to Vermont and I was just like, I went to, for a wedding and it just kind of all ran out. All right, this here, uh, all right, so there's the Scalding Tarn. So this is gone, this is gone. Uh, maybe the Tarn was gone beforehand. Yeah, this means my timer is gonna get killed. I guess they just bounce. We're having some fun, Dalloway. That's what we're doing tonight. Um, I'm just gonna play this tapped so that I can gain a life with my um with my duder. So I think they just have the island left. That's all they have left. I enjoy, I enjoy cascading from time to time. You know, I'm not out here commenting about, you know, whether this deck is, you know, where we want to be or not. Interesting. So this means my Goyf is about to get bolted. If that's the case, I probably have to tr trophy this. Yeah. And I got to take the shot from here. Alternatively, I could just like put another, I guess I could, well, maybe that was bad because I could just put more block. Yeah, that was stupid. I, I, I could put more blockers in the way of this Delver. Well, they check. Maybe I'll learn. Oh well, thank you very much for the donation there. I keep it quiet so I can't hear it, but I just saw that pop up here. I appreciate that. Do another round of Jun later today. All right. Um. Well, see now I fucked myself. Now I royally fucked myself. That was such a stupid play. I should have just blown this up. Then I've been all right. Maybe the last card is Island. All right, don't bolt me, bro. All right. Play bad, get rewarded. So against this deck, I want this, this, and these. Cards are not in the market for. Thoughtseize does not seem great. This deck's probably just got a bunch of the same card. And I probably can shade like a Bob. I want everything that kills anything. Yeah, three, and then he's got one on the board. This is Michael Kidd's gen list. You can follow him on Twitter. I'll have it linked in my bio below. All right, kind of thought sees and a bob. I think that's what we're gonna do. I could bring in like anger of the gods, just get like anything that kills anything in my deck, but that seems kind of mopey. Though they could they could be like a young pyromancer deck. Like there's a chance that these bobs, like I could just go like this and then bring these in. Maybe they're a young pyromancer deck. I don't think dark confidant's gonna be that good on the draw, so I might. I might board all of them out. Well, no, I don't want to board all of them out and board my Liliana back in because Liliana's not great on the draw. <clears throat> all right, sounds great. 
Hand smells like a. I might, well, I might not do a tap land on turn one because if they play a prowess guy, they can like counter my collective brutality. Yeah, I think I'm gonna bolt that because I really just don't. The prop. Well, if I bolt this, then I get I get royally screwed by a dreadhorde archimist, which we saw. So I'm just gonna play this tapped. Get this thing planned in play. Kill that. Then fetch another tap land. Just play a turn behind, I guess. All right, well, we, we ain't about to get Blood Moon. All right, well, now we're going to just Brutality all modes it here. And we're going to hope they don't have something like a Gut Shot or a Mutagenic Growth. Uh, bing. We're going to get rid of this one because it can mess with my Tarmoroifs. Um, what am I doing next turn? I need to. I need to get an untapped black source that doesn't hurt me. So I'm gonna keep this catacombs around. I swear to God, if you have a mutagenic growth, you son of a bitch. All right. All right. I mean, we still got, you know, some good value. We still like effectively traded with a card, but like. That bastard. All right. Um. Well, now I just want to bolt this and play Time of Life, which is what the doctor ordered. I guess I should have played a land because I could get I can get spell pierced. Now we have a Liliana for next turn. Oh, now I'm in trouble. At least they're going to run this right into that. All right. Well, I think I'm just going to kill this before they get a card out of it. I just want to attack first. Get that. Play this. All right, they scoop it up. All right, so after losing to Ponza to start, we won the last two, which is pretty sweet. We got it going on. Jun, Jun great. Jun too good. <clears throat> enjoy playing this deck it's a good switch up from time to time i really like playing when i'm in the mood i like playing basically any modern deck that interacts i would like to get to i'd like to get back to like the blue white decks now that they are new here like give those a whirl see what those are like because I, I think the, the blue right the blue red deck is just very good But it, it, it's been getting, it's like consistently got, over the last like two years, it's just got so many tools. And it is getting more tools. I know the guy I'm playing against here. I will keep. So I think this is going to be a blood crypt. Though I would like it to be a red land. Or a land that produces green. Oh, man. So we get a blood crypt. I really don't want to play my scavenging ooze. I could just thought seize and play a tap land. Then I might take a million damage from this thing. Alternatively, I can go like kill this Thoughtseize like Dark Confidant or Thoughtseize Scavenging is next turn. So I think I'm going to do that. If I don't just get like Phoenix to the moon here. 
All right, well, I'm going to take one damage here to not give them a land on their main phase. Or to kill that. I'd like to see a Tarmogoyf here. That's a great draw. Unfortunately, we still have to shock ourselves. Well, he doesn't have anything going on now. Now we're in we're in a good shit we're in a good spot here. Crash through. Crash through. Alright, well I'm just gonna play Bob Ooze. I don't really want to go Bob Bob. I could also like wait and then play my ooze when I can get gain life off of it. But I think I'd like to do this. UW's great. Never playing Grixis again. Going to GP Providence. Are you going to for the uh Um Are you playing in the main event or are you doing the MCQs? Because it isn't it team limited. So they have Battle Rage Mountain X, I think. Just side events. Is there an MCQ? You gonna do that? Bolt my scavenging ooze. You got it. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's good of you, Rob. Or not, Rob. Raf. All right. Well, I get punched in the dick by a bloodbred elf, but this is how it's supposed to go, right? I'm not going to attack, even though I know that they have, they have, like, I could just offer the trade here, which maybe I'm supposed to, having another one. All right, well, I'm just going to block. The problem is they can just get, Battle Rage makes this a 2-3, Double Strike, if he has another spell, then he kind of gets me here. I'm just going to block with this. Are you gonna kill me? Is that what's about to happen here? That's five, six, nine, or one. All right. Well, I'm just gonna attack with just. Oh, I should have attacked with the scavenging. So I'm gonna grow it anyways. That was stupid. Yeah, that was dumb. No. I guess he needs one more spell. You get the spell? No, we didn't. Okay. So I'd have gained two life, then I would have pushed and gained two more life. Been in a pretty good spot. Probably would have just been dead. All right, uh, Collective Brutality, Fatal Push. I don't think he's an Arclight Phoenix deck, or at least I didn't see anything like that. Scavenging, I mean, Huntmaster may be okay just as a blocker, but I'm really not in love with Dark Confidant. I'm not really in love with Dark Confidant. I'm not really in love with Thoughtseize, but I want to keep my deck as cheap as possible. He cycled his crash throughs earlier. No, that's not the recurring one. Maximize Velocity is the one you're thinking about. I'm going to keep in all my cheap interaction and then my ways to gain life. I'm just going to cut my bobs. Been playing some Arena lately. Trying to get me a, get me a mono red deck set up. Uh, I'm going to keep this. This might be slow, but... 
getting on that cycle train. I think I'm going to fetch a forest with this. I, I mean, I, I don't think, like, like, our opponent could have Blood Moon, but I don't think that I should. I'm going to fetch. I'm going to fetch a swamp. Yeah, but, I, like, I might as well just play around Blood Moon. Like, I can deal with one of my Black Leaf Cliffs coming into play tapped. There's just no sense in me to get like to lose a silly game to a Blood Moon when I can beat it. Arena does move fast, which keeps it interesting. Are we playing standard here? All right, I'm just gonna play this Liliana, and I'm gonna take out and I'm gonna ditch my Black Leaf Cliffs. I could have played Goyf, but it can be mana efficient. I'm going to shock this into Blood Braid Elf next turn, I think. Unless I find something like efficient to do with my mana. Lava Spike Liliana. Okay. So I want more green sources. Because if I hit a scavenging ooze, the more green I have in play, the better. All right. There's a bunch of creatures. I'm not going to tag into that. I think I'm going to chump with my elf. We're just kind of coasting here. Like, I'm in a pretty good spot. Opponent's not really doing a lot. That probably goes after Liliana. Yeah. All right. When it rains, it pours. Bang. Okay, this will probably give it pro red, if I had to guess, because that means it, it can block an elf. Yeah, pro red. Just attack with a goif. Oh, no. Yield until next turn, so. All right, Pyromancer. Oh, I thought I turned that off. Pressure on. Opponent doesn't have any good blocks. And I'm just going to smack this and play Tarmogoyf. Why won't you block the... If you're just chump blocking, why won't you block the Tarmogoyf? That's odd to me. I don't understand why you wouldn't just block Tarmogoyf. Yield until next end step. What are you doing, Moto? Yeah, but no, I've been working to get an arena a little bit. I've almost got a mono red deck set up, which I like playing mono red. All right, look at this. We're playing for the 4 1. The old Jund. Again, you can find this on Michael Kidd's. Um, Facebook, or Michael Kidd's Twitter, excuse me, which will be linked in below after the movies. I also tagged him in my tweet if you guys are on Twitter and you check that out. If you're on Twitter, you should follow me so you can see the nice people that I tag when I play their decks. Here we go. Let's see if we can get the 4-1. Felt nice beating Amulet Titan. Just having the full air mages. I can't imagine, like, Black Green must be able to, like, keep up with Amulet Titan because you've got Fulminator Mage, Trophy, 
and Field of Ruin. Well, the die roll, which is sweet. And his hand's, his hand's good if our Bob lives. Our Bob does have to live, though. This feels like a blood crib in the forest kind of fetch. Really don't want to take damage if I don't have to. Especially, I mean, we do have two of our... Like, we have three of our... I guess three of our eight ogros. Alright, let's get this. So now our life total doesn't really matter. Nice thing is that I'm, I'm going to get a Blood Crypt or an Overgrown Tomb because I would like to have my mana set up. Like I would hate to go get a Forest and then draw a Forest and not be able to play this this uh, this Liliana. Really need to hope my opponent doesn't have like a, a really solid Tron draw, which they don't. Okay. All right, that's a good draw. Now I'm going to be mindful of my uh, life total here. Scavenge use is not great, so I'm not going to focus on that. Plus we have the Twilight Mire. I'm just going to discard Liliana to this one. My opponent's probably just going to discard like some big, ugly thing. All right, so there's still two, two lands off Tron. There's a Goif. I wonder where I should discard. I kind of think I'm going to discard this Inquisition. Well, hang on. I'm going to Bloodbright Elf regardless, so let me just start by Bloodbright Elfing. And then I'll figure out, depending on what I hit, what I want to discard. Alright, well. I guess we'll just hit one of these. I think I'm going to discard Tarmogoyf. I just don't think I'm going to have time to cast it. Like if I hit a land drop, I'm going to go Inquisition into Bloodbright Elf. I guess giving them a forest might be bad. All right, so there's a power plant into a mine. I guess this scavenging is better. This thing I don't have time for. And I'm actually just going to blow up this Urza's Tower. Because I've already blown up one Urza's Tower. And I'm going to play Tarmogoyf. I guess I should have thought about that when I discarded the first Goyf. I think that like pretty much locks my opponent out of the game. <laughs> like they would need even walking bliss though wouldn't do it because I could just eat it. Or do another power plant. So yeah, whatever our opponent does 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 not matter. Okay. What is like what is the future of modern and older formats if they aren't playing the arena? Or you stuff for this old Pokemon Classic guide? I mean if they determine that they can make money with this on arena, they're going to do it. Like if once they figure out standard, they make it so it's easy to import the new cards and keep everything going. They'll just add all of this to arena. And we're going to cut two scavenging images because they suck. And that's what we're going to do. Bolt still goes upstairs. So we're going to keep it. I wouldn't be surprised if in like two or three years, you see, like, at least maybe modern on Arena. As soon as they can make it so, like, it's very easy for them to update the new set so they get out of beta and everything's all set. I, I wouldn't be surprised. If they determine it's a way to make money, they're going to do it. Okay, so turn one Inquisition. Into turn two Goyf. Turn two Fulminator. Turn three Fulminator, excuse me. 
Map here would suck. Okay. I was very surprised we won that game without a discard spell. All right, so my opponent's got the all natural. I'm just versus mine tower. I'm just gonna take worm coil engine. This card's just a nightmare if it gets in play. I don't. Our plan is to keep them off of moving there. They are already revamping it. No, what do you mean revamping it? Like, what are they doing to improve it, Zach? All right, I'm not going to play this Tarmogoyf. I'm just going to hold up an Assassin's Trophy. Because if I play Goyf, they're just going to be able to kill it with this. Just hope they don't have, like, a good payoff here. They might do that. I, I, I might... I wouldn't be surprised if they... Is that a Worm Coil Engine? God. All right, let's... I'm just going to get a... kind of have to get an Overgrown Tomb because our mana base is a little awkward. I mean, I can, I can survive here for a little while. But I'm going to take a Lickin'. Uh, I guess I'll just take out the tower. I need to go like Tarmogoyf bolt the death toucher. I really don't want to commit too much into this Oblivion Stone. But like Blood Braid Elf is the highest upside play because I can find a way to kill this. It would be nice to have two Tarmogoyfs to follow up with. All right, whatever. We, we came here to play Giant, we came to Cascade. All right. That Bob could kill us. Likely just chump blocking with it, to be honest. I can't imagine playing something like Amulet on Arena. The interface just wouldn't work for the amount of triggers. I'm sure they get it. You could get it to work. Like, if they determine it's highly going to make money, they'll do it. All right. So I'm just going to get. Yeah, we're getting into. All right. I'm going to block this Death Toucher. So they have Ulamog in hand. So I need to find a way to get that. Blood Crypt. Yeah, we're just dead. Because they're going to go get Ulamog and we're not we're not beating any Ulamog coming down. All right. Same sideboarding. Hopefully we can pull it out here. I wouldn't be... I think Brown... Brown Co... Brown Co... U, UVW. West Virginia University, if that's what you're talking about. I think he's got the best idea. They're just going to make a non-rotating format in a couple years that starts with Arena. Uh, so his hand's kind of sweet because I can grudge a map. And I might just be able to kind of curve out on him. I'm going to keep it. Whatever. I really hope they play a map on turn one. I'm just going to play this tapped. Keep a land in my deck. Really hope they play a map on turn one. No. Sacrifice chromatic sphere. Add one mana of any color. So I can just blow this up, which makes it so they don't have mana. Which I think I'm going to do. Because this isn't the star, this is the sphere, so they don't automatically draw a card here. Bronco. Yes, West Virginia. Yeah, I figured. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of the colored source.
Ooh, I can get rid of both of these now. Gas. And we can go Blood Red Elf next turn. So let's get rid of this. That's, I need to fetch correctly. So I need to go get a Forest. Oh, but now I can't play Blood Red Elf next turn. I guess I can hit them with a... Like, I can Fulminator Mage the that one now. I can Blood Raid Elf now. I think I would rather just Fulminator Mage, though, because, like, they can get the big scaries. Nice. That's okay. Because we get to kill it. Crucible World, okay. Blood Braid Elf. Cast Dark Confidant. All right. All right, Crucible Worlds is okay. Uh-oh. So we hope between our draw step, Bob, and the Cascade, we find a way to kill a land at least. Turn to... Liliana, not bad. Raging Ravine, pretty bad. Spin the wheel. All right. Thoughtseize might be able to hit like a, the big payoff. All right, we hit the only payoff. So that's actually seven, eight. They're just dead next turn. Uh, Karn. I guess what does Karn do? Karn lets them. Karn goes and gets Ensnaring Bridge. Ensnaring Bridge has got to be the grab here, right? Oblivion Stone. Gross. Are you going to let me draw a card? I would crack this right now, right? This has got to be what we're doing. Because you have to crack it when I attack, right? Yeah. They have an expedition map though, so that's still not that great. One, two, three. One, two, three, one, two. The question is, do I just play out my hand, Liliana, tick up, Fulminator Mage this? Make it so, because this expedition map can go get Ghost Quarter, and then I don't have anything going on. And the Liliana punishes them in a couple different ways. Because I'm not going to be able to kill my opponent with this, more than likely. I've turned some lights on here in a second. I think I'm just going to dump my hand, play Liliana, eat this, make them choose between Ghost Quarter and Heving Tron. The Blast Zone can also deal with Liliana, but we'll, we, well, actually, I get rid of one of those two. So I'm actually just going to do this, and before I play my land, plus it and discard this Twilight Mire. Because it's not like this is a two-turn clock anyways, and they can answer it. So we're going to do this before they get any other information. Okay, 
Okay, they ditched map. Now they only have five mana. We have this Liliana pressuring their hand, and we then Raging Revenge in the clear. All right, that's just a redraw. I think it would have been better for them. No, oh, maybe not. Well, now it's just gonna be hit this, keep them off Tron more. This is one two one two tap. They put two counters on it. I think I've got to hit this blast zone. I think now we're going to try to ultimate this Liliana. They still can't play like they can't play Karn. Um, <coughs> they can play Worm Coil Engine. But we maybe will get enough time to beat Worm Coil Engine. I don't know. Goes. We're gonna find out. Mm, maybe I was supposed to be attacking. I'm going to Edict, and then I'm going to attack with Raging Ravine. I don't want to just, like, completely waste my mana this turn, and they can kill this regardless. This basically is just going to trade my turn, like a Liliana activation and my turn for one of for two-thirds of the Worm Coil Engine. They don't have to top deck. And I, I don't have a bunch of Ancient Grudges or anything. I don't think it's reasonable that I'm going to be able to slog through this, so I would rather just get the Death Toucher off the, off the table in case I draw... A, <coughs> a Tarmogoyf. Alright, they just take it. Okay. Well, now I'm in trouble. Right, I guess I just eat the life linker. Take three. Or trade with the death toucher. I just kind of hope my opponent doesn't have anything. I wonder if I played this poorly. So I feel like I had I feel like I was ahead and I had the tools, but now I just like aim up Chick Creek. Okay, so one of their cards is a forest. So if I go to Five, go to two. They got to have two payoffs in their hand that cost one, two, three, four. Because that's a seventh mana, so they must have Karn in their hand. <coughs> Double Karn. All right. We knew they had Karn. How do I win? And then just take Karn, play Bob. Play my land. And then Bloodbright Elf into a way to kill this. Oh, they have a Sanctum too. Sanctum goes and gets them Worm Coil Engine. Alright. So we have the Bloodbright Elf into Colorgon's Command, basically, at this turn to win. Or to be in it. Nope. Jeez. Close. 